Yeah, you already know what the fuck going on. It's the kid gonna gonna why I sell ladies. And right now I'm fucking with Purgers Report. Shout out to Purgers Report for fucking with my drip. The Progress Report. It's your girl Lala Shepard checking in. This is the Progress Report, and I got my very special guest of the evening, Mr. Gunner. What's going on? What's going on? How are you? I'm good. Good, man. I've been chasing you down for this interview, man. Thank you for being with me. So <laughs> what? Word. <laughs> all right. So for the people who don't know, who is Gunner? What's all the hype about? Right. I am the hype. I control the hype. Now, but my name Gunner. Um, I'm like one of the newest up and coming artists out of Atlanta. And um, right now the buzz is looking good. Very good. Right, <coughs> right. Um, how would you describe Atlanta's new sound at this current moment in hip hop? Uh, the new sound is cool. I'm the new sound. Right. So it's cool. It's very cool. How would you describe it though? Like, if you had to put it in words. Fashionable. Like, very trendy. Mm. Yeah. What makes you a genius? I was reading the interview you did with uh, Hot New Hip Hop. What makes you a genius? Just thinking and being creative and not caring about what no one thinks and being able to be like a leader. Mm. Like, that's what makes you a genius, like being to be able to lead and, and like multiply. Right. Yes. As a person who really knows Young Thug, um, what's the funniest thing that you can say about him? Man, that nigga funny as a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. That nigga funny as hell. Give me a funny story. Man, we got down. We, we walked in the store one day. And then, and then they, this boy, this boy pants were so fucking goddamn small. Like, they was short as a motherfucker, but And they were cold outside. Okay. And nigga like, boy, you gonna catch new morning in your ass, man. Man, shit was so funny. He told him. He just told the man, like, man, you need to go cover up, man. Mm. That shit was funny as fuck. Word. Man. How did the dude react? He was just like, he was shocked. Right. Because he knew, like, he knew, he, he knew who he was, so he right. was shocked. Man, he was just telling him that. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so talk about why I sell as a whole. Break down the team and the functions. Why I sell is, is, is big, man. We're a big, big team. And uh, we've been, we've been like, it's like, why I sell been already known just in the street. Now it's like, damn. He got known with Slime, like he, when he took off. And then now we just building the brand. We right. just building the brand mm -hmm. with artists and more artists. What are your thoughts on drug usage and just people just drinking um, in light of the recent passings of, uh, you know, other rappers? What's your thoughts on that? Uh, teachers, I don't, you do what you want to do, but just don't overdo it, you know? Mm. Like, I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna sit here and say don't do drugs because I don't, I do, I'm, I'm smoking right now. This, it's not really a drug, it's a plant, but you know, mm -hmm. it's, you know, to the world, it's a drug. So I wouldn't just tell everybody to get them not do drugs. I'm just telling you, like, be careful with whatever you do. You right. know what I'm saying? Be careful with your research on shit before you got them put it in your body. Right. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you can get them your body, can take it. You know what I'm saying? Like, be immune to some shit, you know? Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's what I would say. Right. Yeah. Um, so what does music mean together? Everything. I, I love music. I've been doing music forever. Mm. Hard work or talent? And why? Hard work. For sure. Because you can be talented and you got down your work ethic sucks. Mm. You know? So. True. Got down. You gon' you gon' you gon' win every time if you work out working to everybody. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Continuously working, being in his face, being goddamn consistent. That's that what wins. Right. In my eyes. True. All right. Um. So talk about Gunner's performance set. You got a lot of fan favorites. So how do you decide? How do you decide which songs do you perform when you're doing a show? Um. Uh, I got. I kind of feel out the crowd sometimes. Like last night I had a show. I just. My DJ just went off the top because we were kind of late. Mm. And shit, that shit was perfect. So I just kind of, I kind of go with the flow. You know what okay. I'm saying? Yeah. Um, what phase are you in right now mentally? I'm, I'm in like a focused phase right now. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm focused on my crap. Trying to just, just better myself, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. That's, that's the man I'm in right now. Gotcha. Um, so speak about... 
um, pursuing a music career and balancing the streets? I mean, you gotta you gotta pick one. You can't really be like both. Like you can, but it's hard. It was hard for me. Mm. I got now. I sacrificed. I stopped. I stopped mm -hmm. being in the street and just started being in the studio. Right. Yeah. Um, speak about your mom. Um, what's something that she taught you directly or indirectly? Best advice? Always to just stay focused. Like that's she'll tell me that to this day right now, just man, be focused, bro. Like stay focused. Like mm -hmm. When she know I'm doing good, she still gonna tell me stay focused. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't let, don't get sidetracked by that shit. Like you know, I don't bet she know what we're about to do. So she just try to tell me keep that, stay focused. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um. So speak about Gunna as a businessman. Um. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm a businessman. Like I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. Hmm. I'm, I'm about building businesses and shit. Like. Right. I'm, I'm looking at like my own brand right now, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I, I love music, but I love fashion too. Right. So that's another genre that I'm going to get into. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so piggybacking off of that, um, speak about some of your favorite fashions and favorite cars to drive. Uh, I, got, I, I, I don't have no favorite like clothing brand, because mm -hmm. I rock a lot of shit. Like, we learned this, like, this in-house brand. Like, this right, shit dope. Shit, cool, mm -hmm. and I can go goddamn Dior, you know, like a whole nother brand. It just got down. I'm very, I'm, I'm very goddamn picky and choosing on clothes and shit, so I'm gonna right. even say like one brand. Right, gotcha. Um, now I know Meek Mill, Meek Mill is one of your favorite um, artists. Um, yeah. Speak about his current situation. Do you think that jail rehabilitates a person? For sure. He, this shit gonna, this shit gonna, this shit gonna help me. I agree. I, know I it's think so help. too. It's, as soon as he get back, he gonna be back on top. Right. He gonna be booked up. Like he gonna he come with that heat that I know he got. Man, mm. he gonna win. He gonna win. This shit. This shit just was a minor setback for a major, major comeback for real. Thanks. I know what it's gonna do for him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. So a hypothetical question. So if an artist on your label is beefing with somebody, um. How do you feel about the situation? Could you work with that other artist or like if, if like somebody, somebody on YSL? Yeah. Of course not. I can't. What the? That don't look. That ain't good. That ain't part of the, like even even in if we want no label shit. This my this like my brother. Right. So I can't if he don't fuck with you. You know I don't fuck with you. Right. We can never be cool. Never. Ever. <laughs> Noted. All right. Um. So what's Gunner's message to the people? My message to the people is, do what you love, keep doing what you love, no care what nobody tell you, keep doing what you love to do. Word. All right, so what's next for you? Mm, I'm working on Dribble Drive 2 right now. Yeah, so it'll be, be on the lookout for that very, very soon. You know, YSL shit. 